What's going on, everybody? I hope you all had a lovely Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever holiday you celebrate or maybe don't celebrate. I hope you had a very good one. In this video, we're going to share some pretty interesting news regarding the OnePlus Open. Many of us have been wondering, where is Android 14? Is it coming? Is a beta coming? What is happening? Well, as I guess a Christmas gift, they posted on their official forums, Oxygen OS 14 beta number one for the OnePlus Open has arrived. Now, bear in mind, this is India only. So right now, if you're not in India, you cannot install this, but what we can do is we can go over the change log and see some of the interesting features that are coming quickly down the pipe. So feature number one, adds a file dock where you can drag and drop to transfer content between apps and devices. I don't exactly know what this means because there's already a files option in the dock of the OnePlus Open. This might be something different. I'm not exactly sure how to conceptualize this, but something potentially going on there. Number two, adds content extraction, a feature that can recognize and extract text and images from the screen with one tap. This sounds similar to something that we have on Pixel devices where you can go to your Recents menu and do exactly this, pull out an image, do a search, pull out text, so forth and so on. If that's basically what we're talking about, that is a really cool one to have coming. Adds a smart cutout feature that can separate multiple subjects in a photo from the background for copying and sharing. This is something else that we've seen on some Samsung devices and some other devices as well, where you can take a subject from a picture and pull them out and remove the background. Now this is actually saying multiple subjects in a photo. This could also be potentially very, very useful. Maybe you can use them as stickers like you can on Samsung devices. I love this kind of stuff. Really, really smart. Cross device connectivity. It says improves shelf by adding more widget recommendations. I'm not exactly sure how that's cross device connectivity. Maybe the widgets they're adding. I don't really know what to make of that one. Maybe you have a better explanation than I do. Improves photo and video related permission management for safer access by apps. I assume what this is, is the new thing in Android where if an application is asking for photo and video permission, you don't have to just give it access to all your photos and videos. You can actually pick specific photos and videos to temporarily give it permission to access. That should be what that is. Improvements to system stability, the launch speed of apps, and the smoothness of animations. That's pretty self-explanatory. Upgrades aquamorphic design with a natural, gentle, and clearer color style for more comfortable color experience. So conceivably some sort of theming updates the device might look a little bit different. Adds aquamorphic themed ringtones and revamps the system notification sounds. And then this kind of got broken. This should have been a line break. Improves system animations by making them even smoother. So some nice little quality of life changes, maybe sprucing up the appearance, sprucing up the sounds on the device. Adds a carbon tracking AOD that visualizes the carbon emissions you avoid by walking instead of driving. That's kind of interesting, although uh, I don't know how much uh, carbon emissions the individual is creating when compared to that of corporations. Not to get on my soapbox there, but that might be interesting for some people. Again, this is only in India, but uh, it should be hopefully coming to other regions very, very soon. And it looks like there's a decent amount of new stuff coming along with this update. Of course, you can check for your update by going into the About Phone section, clicking where it says Oxygen OS up at the top. And once it arrives, I think there's gonna be like a little three dot menu in the top right where you can click it and opt into the beta right now. That is obviously not an option for anyone that is not in India. Stay tuned to this channel because as this rolls out, I will, of course, be upgrading to this beta and covering it on this channel. So subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Uh, content coming very, very soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.